Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to do a sort of quick review on this diesel laptops handheld. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty neat tool. Um, it could definitely use a lot of work, but uh, we'll get into that later. I kind of just want to do a short review here. So if you bought one or you're thinking about buying one, um, maybe check this video out. And if you have any comments or questions, just leave them down in the comments section. And I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Uh, what I'm also going to do is leave some updates. Um, in the in the comments section, I'll try to pin them, and uh, you know if something starts to work or something doesn't start to work, I'll update it in the comment section. And if you guys need to see any other videos, just let me know. So basically, I'm just going to leave the background video there, just so you guys can see, kind of going through menus and what it looks like in the basic layout for right now. But we'll get into it in more detail later. Um, real quick background on me: if you don't know, I'm a fleet diesel technician by. Uh, profession. I've been doing it a little less than two years, but that's not really important right now. Uh, I have access to anything 2019 up to 2024, brand new uh, semi trucks and yard trucks. So basically, Freightliner, Cascadias, um, International, RH, and LH, I believe, with the A26 engine, and Volvo with the D13s. Uh, as well as the yard trucks, different yard truck models that usually always have the common 6.7 liter. So that's just a background of kind of what comes into my bay. So I've been using some of diesel laptops uh, programs, and uh, this is the first actual device I bought from them. Um, their programs are pretty useful. I like them. I like the wiring diagrams and the stuff you can get for a uh, basic price up to a professional price. It's it's pretty handy stuff, the wiring diagrams and the R and R procedures and troubleshooting and stuff. It's not super uh widespread, like you can't get everything you think you'd want to get or you can get at like dealership levels, but it's good enough for the uh small repairs and uh um better price than having to pay two, three hundred dollars a month for dealership level stuff or more. And you don't need any of those programs to run this diesel laptops handheld um, it, it would be nice to have and to use it in conjunction but you don't need them to to use this appropriately so the main issue I'm having actually is on the screen right now um, I'm on a Volvo in this video I believe for the D13 I think it's a 2020 or 2021 somewhere in there maybe a 22 I'm trying to do the region and I get the same message every time um, as you'll see in the video here it doesn't seem to want to regen on anything 2019 and up for some reason for me. Um, the only truck I was able to get it to regen on was a 2019 Cascadia. Everything else, it gives me a, a sort of error message that it says it can't read the software or there's some sort of issue. You'll see in the video. I'll show you uh, in a couple of minutes here. But I also wanted to leave the videos as they are in some cases so you can see how long it takes for this to bring up information uh, you can see there on the on the screen right there uh, what's going on so again just just to leave it play in one cut so that you guys can see how long some of this stuff takes and then i'll just switch to pictures to show you guys quickly what it's capable of reading and again with this volvo with a d13 uh, i was trying to regen it would not do it successfully i was getting get software id failed and this is the same message I got with the uh, newer Cascadia, wouldn't regen. So what you're seeing now on the screen is basically just kind of going through the options of uh, kind of reading information on a 6.7 liter Cummins. I don't remember what year this yard truck was, but this is kind of just plugging into the yard truck and seeing what I could find. So I'm just going to let the video play, get an idea of uh, kind of your options and things you can look at and how long this actually takes to uh, to bring up information. So I'll just leave the video play and you can kind of look through it. And real quick, just keep in mind, I'm at work, so I don't have time uh, every day to go through and actually check these functions. But um, no, I definitely will update in the comments if you guys have any questions on what it will or won't do, and I'll try to get time to look at it.
So this is actually bringing up codes. There was a check engine light on this yard truck, so it actually will read codes pretty reliably from my experience. This is kind of what it looks like in the codes that were on that truck. So what happened with me was I ended up buying a used handheld off of their website directly. Uh, I was having regen issues, like I said. Uh, I contacted customer service. They said, okay, we'll send you a new one. We think it's a software issue. So this is the new kit. This is what it looks like when you unbox it. Um, and you can follow the downloading steps on their website, and it'll, it'll uh, download the new stuff for you, the new updates and all that. So I got the new unit, did the download, and the same thing happened with the newer Cascadia, same message. So it's still not working for the newer trucks, but I'll keep you updated on that. Basically now I'm just going to go through these screens here and show you all of the data reading capabilities it has and the code reading, which is actually pretty nice if you look at the, the amount of stuff you get on here. Uh, you just hit enter and then back and it shows you all the readings. Uh, I didn't adjust the... Uh, the actual unit measure yet on this point in the video, but you can change it to Fahrenheit or to PSI. And you can see here, if you look at the brake switch, if I press the brake switch down or the brake pedal down, the switch actually goes to depress there. You see that? So it is functional. And a lot of this next footage is all from a 2019 International RH, I believe. Um, with the A26 engine, so just keep that in mind.
And this is on a, a Freightliner. I'm not 100% sure what year it was. It was either 2019 or 2020 or 21. Uh, but you can see very similar uh, pictures of all the information you can get just kind of going through it here and what information you can't get obviously just doesn't quite work but again this is just a video for an idea of, of what you can do with this handheld um, with various trucks and models I believe these are 2023 Cascadia. You can see the information is still good, but when I tried to do the uh, regen, here it goes to CPC, and then it gives me the same problem. And the Volvos are even worse with information, and they don't regen. I actually had the handheld just shut off completely when hooking up to a Volvo multiple times and trying to look at information. However, what you're seeing in this next part of the video here is a regen on a Cascadia 2019. Uh, you can see it going through the process here. Um, and it actually allows me to go in a park regen, which was surprising. It actually works and it will start to regen as you'll see in the video. Yeah, I kept it running here and I didn't see any information coming up, like any values. Um, maybe it takes a little while to come up when you run the regen for a while. I didn't have enough time to run a full regen. I just had enough time to start it and then kind of see what was going on and then stop it. So um, I'll follow up on that when I know more about it, but I didn't get any values while the regen was happening, which would be super handy if it did give you nice values. But that's just the gist of it. So overall review of this thing, I mean, I could only get it to regen on one 2019 Cascadia at the moment. I will update if it gets any better or if I can contact DL uh, Diesel Laptops and uh, see if they can help me out again. Otherwise, I think it's, it's, it's a nice unit. I don't think it's worth what they're asking for it as it stands. Uh, for $700 plus, I just don't think it's worth it. Maybe try the Harbor Freight version for three or 400 bucks, but you're probably going to have similar results without the customer service. So it's just something to think about. And um, if you guys have any questions about it, again, let me know in the comment section. 
So I hope the video wasn't too long or too boring, but it's basically just put up so you guys can see how the thing functions. There was not a whole bunch of videos on YouTube that are a little bit more long form about what it looks like and how it works. So any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.